Hi, this is Dr. Kat Fleece from Central New Mexico Community College. In video F on the blood vessels, we're going to focus on how to measure blood pressure. When we listen with a stethoscope for the sounds of Korotkov, we talk about oscillation. So oscillation refers to listening to sounds that are going to represent blood pressure. Let me explain. First of all, we use an instrument. Uh, we typically call it a um, blood pressure cuff, but it's really referred to as a sphygmomanometer. Sphygmomanometer. With this sphyg sphygmomanometer, we record the systolic blood pressure and the diastolic pressure by listening for sounds, better referred to as the sounds of Korotkov. Let's look at an illustration to understand this a little bit better. It's always best to measure the blood pressure of your patient as close to his or her heart as possible. The left arm has the most direct route for the blood to reach the, the arm from the heart. On the right side, remember, we first have from the aorta the brachiocephalic trunk, and then we get to the, left, the right subclavian artery, which then eventually becomes the brachial artery. On the left side, we have a more direct route. We don't have that brachiocephalic trunk. And so we find the place where we expect the brachial artery to be and wrap that with this inflatable cuff, which is connected to a little pump mechanism. And then we can read, read the pressure in millimeters of mercury with the help of this pressure gauge. So the idea is that we're going to pump up the cuff hard enough to where we will totally occlude the brachial artery and stop the blood from flowing. And you're always going to be careful doing this, but since we can estimate that in a healthy person, the blood pressure, the systolic blood pressure is going to be about 120, we want to go slightly above 120. Now we're going to very slowly release the pressure in um, the, the cuff and eventually the blood begins to flow through the narrow opening and that's going to result in a sound, a very first sound referred to as the sound, the first sound of Korotkov. So that very first sound is due to the initial flow through the narrow opening of the vessel. We will continue hearing the blood flow with that, those sounds in the, um, in the stethoscope. And then there's going to come a point in time where we do not hear any more sounds because at this point in time, our vessel is completely wide open because we have released uh, the pressure enough in the cuff to where the blood flows freely. So the second we don't hear any sounds anymore, we make a second recording and that represents our diastolic pressure. So we can represent this graphically. So near the bottom here, we see the sounds of Korotkov. Okay. Here we have on the x-axis the time, while here on the y-axis we have our pressure in millimeters of mercury. Here we see the pulsatile nature of the blood pressure in our artery and notice that this looks very similar to the aortic blood pressure. Um, we can assume that it is the brachial artery being pretty close to the aorta. You even see our dichrotic notch here. In the gray this represents the pressure in our cuff. And so we're going to start the pressure in the cuff at um, a, a pressure that we can assume is going to be higher than our average systolic blood pressure. So the average, average systolic blood pressure in people is about 120. Um, and remember the average diastolic is around 80 or so. So if we pump up the pressure in the cuff to just above 120, we should not hear anything because the blood is not flowing, it's totally occluded. But the moment the pressure in the cuff is the same as the highest pressure in our vessel, meaning that there's now going to be a narrow opening to where the blood can begin to flow, uh, that's where we record our first blood pressure 
measurement our systolic blood pressure. And then as we continue to let the pressure in the cuff um, decrease by releasing the valve, eventually we're going to see that the pressure in the cuff is equivalent to the pressure in the, um, in the blood vessel, meaning the blood vessel is completely um, um, not oppressed anymore with the pressure of the cuff and we will hear we will not hear any more sounds and so uh, the moment we don't hear any more sounds we're going to make a measurement of what we uh, estimated the blood pressure was just right before that and and with with some training you are you get very good at doing that